There's no work as if there's a What is he? Hi, Kat McDee, how are you? I was just going to chat away about our Food for Life that we're actually doing on uh, Friday this week. It's going to be under the hashtag FFL Global 20 Hour. Basically, what we're doing is we're basically trying to raise as much much money over the 24 hours to try and help all the kind of depraved children all over the world. Basically, what Food for Life, basically what it's about, it says, with roots going back to 1974, Food for Life Global is a network of vegan food reliefs and wellness services. Our mission is to create peace and prosperity in the world through liberation, distribution of pure food, prepared in loving intention. Lovely to see you, Vegan Grandma. If any of you guys would like to guest, please please join in because I would love to guest you and speak away about this. Basically, like I say, the basically things like they feed the children and things, like I say, for as little as $108, you can obviously help provide freshly cooked vegan meals to underprivileged children in India for an entire school year. So that just shows you for a whole year, $108. Lovely to see you, Jenny S, as well. Like I say, anybody, jump in the guest queue. I would love to guest some of you here to, today for sure. Like I say, Food for Life, Anna Marita, takes proven low-cost methods to provide nutritious lunches to children. So not only are they obviously providing food to children, obviously, as well, but they're educating them on the kind of proper nutrition as well. They do things like, obviously, disaster relief. Like I say, Food for Life Global affiliates have been responders in some of the world's greatest natural and man-made disasters including the first Chechen War, the Great Asian Tsunami of 2004, Hurricane Katrina, obviously, as well, the 2011 tsunami in Japan and the Syrian refugee crisis as well. They also do things like, obviously, animal rescue as well. Thanks very much for the likes, Jenny. Yes, I really, really appreciate that. Let's see, Food for Life Global's mission of creating equality extends to helping the most exploited and marginalised species and the farmed animals, obviously bred for food, all, the, all animals, like I say, deserve it, and obviously our affiliate, Juliana's Animal Sanctuary, that they're talking about here, they set out a wonderful example of that as well. Kat says, I'd love to sometimes as well, but it's fairly early and I'm getting the kids. Oh, I would love to, Kat me deal. I'll have you on sometime. Just shoot me a message on Facebook and I'll, I'd love to guess you anytime or on my YouTube channel. Just let me know whenever it suits you. So like I say, that's really, really great. I hope we can actually get as much, obviously, donations as we possibly can for this as well. So it's going to be brilliant. We're actually, it's actually Jessica, Australia, my dear, dear friend, that set this one up. But I'm actually going to be working along with Food for Life now as well. So I'm going to be doing like the one of their managers on the Facebook page. I'll be promoting all the upcoming things. And I'm obviously going to be helping Jessica as to basically get all these up and running. And it's going to be really, really amazing. So basically, just to obviously let you know the kind of schedule, it's obviously going to be over 24 hours, like I say. It's going to be US Eastern time. So it's going to start on November 25th. So basically 12 p.m. So like I say, the, the first one for 12 a.m. to 1 a.m., Food for Life Global, that's Food Yogi. He's a co-founder of this. He's an actual patron and he runs a charity. He's going to be starting the, 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 the broadcast off. Then from 1 to 2 a.m., it's going to be the Holonesian. I thoroughly recommend you check this guy out. He, he does a lot of you now broadcasts. He's not got a YouTube channel yet, but I'd absolutely love it if he did get a YouTube channel. He does a lot of like veganism and things like that. Absolutely great, great guy. So it'll be great to get him involved in this as well. Then from 2 to 3 a.m., it's Sandcat, who is my dear, dear friend. She's a dear, dear friend of me and Jessica Australia. She's going to be guesting along with the chicken lady. For 3 to 4 a.m., it's Malgara Zata. Then from 4 to 5, it's Tim the Hugger, who's another great, great guy as well. He's just recently started on you now. For 5 to 6 a.m., it's Joe Vegan, who's another one of my dear friends, as you well know. 6 to 7, it's actually myself, so that works out to... 
11 to 12 uh, a.m. my time over here. Then uh, 7 to 8 a.m. it's my dear, dear friend, da Dazzling Frankie, Frankie Furman. She's actually not vegan, so it'll be actually great getting her involved in this. She's a lovely, lovely girl. She's been through a lot. She's got a lot of depression and things like that. She's actually actually in surgery at the moment. For She's suffered a lot of problems with incontinence and things like that. So she's actually got a sacral nerve stimulation pacemaker fitted so send her all the love she really really deserves it she's a lovely lovely girl then for 8 to 9 a.m it's convertible snitch john so it'll be great to get him involved as well absolutely me and john's dear dear friends and so is jessica as well 9 to 10 a.m is this time around vegan life that is jen tyler lovely lovely person i thoroughly recommend you go and check her youtube channel out she does a lot of motivation and things like that. She basically takes you through her exercise and things like that and how the vegan lifestyle has obviously changed her and she's lost all this weight eating things. One of the best channels about. Great, great good woman. 10 to 11 a.m. is Mad Blender, who's another excellent person. 11 to 12 a.m. is Mod Vegan, who does a lot of kind of like kind of science fiction type things and vegan activism and things like that. She's very, very knowledgeable. She'll absolutely, her channel will absolutely blow up shortly. She, she's absolutely great. 12 to 1 a.m., 1 p.m., sorry, is Food for Life Glow again, Food Yogi. 1 to 2 p.m. is Hit Like a Girl, who's a, a great, great channel as well. She does a lot of high-intensity interval training and things like that, which I actually because I'm actually a personal trainer myself and things and that's something I really love kind of watching and things I don't I'm not going to share a lot of that on my channel at the moment because I don't feel it would be right obviously with me and eating disorder recovery and things but once I get to that kind of stage where I'm getting a, I'm in firm recovery I'm going to start sharing a lot of fitness and exercise on my channel and basically things about nutrition and things like that as well uh, 2 to 3 p.m. is Anita Spiro, who's another really great person. 3 to 4 is A1 Vegan. 4 to 5 is Vegan Badass, who I haven't seen yet, but Jessica tells me he's absolutely great. I'm going to be checking him out shortly. 5 to 6 p.m. is Vegan Mojo. 6 to 7 is Jason Pizzino. 7 to 8 is Joey Carbstrong, who is one of my favourites. I really love his activism. Like I say, I... I do a lot of vegan activism, obviously, for the Mankind Animal Charity in Scotland. You've recently seen my, my stream that i done, obviously, talking about the mountain hair culling protest that I went to. You'll find that uh, video about the protest on my channel as well. Basically, we went to the Scottish Parliament trying to get the mountain hair culling banned and things like that. Three of the four MSPs actually backed us. The fourth MSP, who's Rosanna Cunningham, who's uh, the main MSP for the Scottish National Party, she basically said that there was no, no absolute proof of the killings actually happening. But yet, there's 25,000 mountain hares killed per year, like I say. The, we actually showed our truckloads of the photos, actually, with the, the mountain hares them all been killed and things like that. She basically disregarded it and she said, oh yes, but some culling is necessary because they affect the farming population. But let's be real here, they're obviously going to support the farming population because the farming population, obviously, the meat industry, like the, 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 the slaughter of cows and the pig, slaughter of pigs and things, brings in millions a year to obviously the economy and things like that. So they're going to support all this, as we well know. But as long as we can keep being a voice for the voiceless, keep speaking up and showing them that this cruelty is happening, we're gradually making a difference, like I say. It's like a drip feed effect. People are demanding these foods and things like that. If we can gradually drip feed the, the, the cruelty message and what's actually happening, that supply and demand will obviously lessen and lessen and lessen. And like I say, even if you're out coming to the vegan lifestyle just for health reasons or whatever, don't ever think that makes you any more or less an activist than anybody else because you doing what you're doing is actually saving animals every single day. But like I say... I always go against people who say there's no reason why people can't go vegan because, yeah, there is. A lot of people have serious, serious illnesses such as cancer. They've got eating disorders for many. Being in eating disorder recovery and going vegan can actually be the worst thing you can possibly do because your eating disorder can actually latch it and 
to put you in the picture, when you're coming for an eating disorder background and for a long, long time, some people maybe for a year or so can come to the vegan lifestyle and it won't affect them and things like that. For me, it's actually helped me massively. But I know a lot of people, which is myself, obviously, that's had an eating disorder for 20 odd years and things, it can actually be the worst thing you can do because you've got to get a good relationship with all types of foods. And sometimes being vegan, so if you're eliminating things like fats and uh, proteins and things like that, you're obviously missing soluble vitamins and minerals such as A, D, A and K that are essential for brain function and hormonal function and things like that. And you need all these food group vitamins to actually promote yourself in recovery and get better and get a good relationship with all them. So like I say, going on to the, the stream again, 8 to 9 p.m. is Jessica, my, my dear, dear friend, who set this up. 9 to 10 p.m. is Big Screen Bird. 10 to 11 is James Aspie, who will be excellent to see. I, I really, really wanted to see him on live as well. And 11 to 12 is actually Jessica and Sandcat finishing it off. So it should be absolutely great, guys. Like I say, it'll be brilliant to get some raise as much money as we possibly, possibly can. Oh, hi, Cormorant 4N2. Nice to see you here. So like I say, go vegan Scotland. You see the, the, the here. So like I say, for £10 a month, for uh, $10 donation to our, our, our stream, actually will help feed a child for one month with pure plant-based foods. £20 obviously for two months, free, £30 for three months, it'll be absolutely great. And for a, actually for a $50 donation, when you if you get a Kindle copy of yoga, food yoga by Paul Rodney, who's actually the, the guy that actually runs the charity as well. So that should be actually be brilliant to get a hold of that. $108, like I say, feeds a child for a, a whole year, which, I mean, it's just absolutely amazing. So I hope we can do as much as we possibly can and raise as much as we can for this charity. It will be absolutely great. It's going to be a regular monthly thing as well. Yeah, Kat, it will be. It will be great to see it. And I hope you'll be there as well. I would love to guest you as well. So like I say, guys, if anybody wants to guest and things like that, Macy Falls at 07, nice to see you here as well. Is the vegan runner of that here is I would, I would love to guest him if he's on as well and speak to him again about this and so what he's all up to is that is he's having a good day and things it's been it's it's quite cold here I think it's about minus two here at the moment so very very cold we actually had snow and things like that and actually had been saying that there was actually going to be snow coming today so a bit a bit off putting to say the least. But also as well, a lot, a few people, I've actually got some questions. I was actually asked by one of my subscribers, Butterfly Rose. She was actually asking me to answer these on stream. She says, uh, questions, is your wife vegan? No, my wife isn't vegan, Butterfly Rose. Like I've actually explained before, my wife actually is suffers with ovarian cancer. She was actually vegetarian before and she can't go vegan because she suffers there's a lot of iron deficiency problems and like that, and that's what one thing I want to say. Not everybody can go vegan. It actually can, and sometimes be one of the worst things that you can do. Like I say, my wife is prevented by a recovery team at the hospital and things like that for this reason. Uh, also, as well, she asks, also, is it expensive price for vegan food? Well, to be honest, like any lifestyle, whether you're, you're, you're in a standard American diet or you're a vegan lifestyle and things like that, it can be as expensive or as cheap as you possibly make it. Obviously, depending on where you shop and things like that, we've obviously got a lot of things at the big main supermarkets like Aldi and Lidl and things like that, very, very cheap. All your staples, your beans, rice, seeds, legumes, they're all very, very cheap, like I say. But obviously, if you're buying things like vegan chocolate and the vegan fake meats and things like that, they can be expensive. But like I say, you can get things now, obviously, like your tofu and things like that in, in blocks, obviously, in the supermarket. It's very, very cheap and things. So like I say, like any lifestyle, the vegan lifestyle can be as cheap or as expensive as you possibly make it. Hi, John, John V. Nice to see you here as well. 
Shaw Sass, in the beginning of your vlog, you mentioned that your OCD is very problematic right now. My daughter also has OCD. She has been on Zoloft for many, many years and it's helped her a lot. I am wondering if you take medication for it currently. If okay to ask. No, I'm not actually on uh, medication for my OCD. I've actually got a video coming up tomorrow talking about all my OCD behaviours past and present because at the moment I'm actually suffering many, many OCD behaviours. Like I say, I'm doing things like everything's got to be time regulated. I've got to have my meals at a certain time of day. I've even got to go to the bathroom at a certain time of day. I've got to take my dogs at a certain time walk at a time at a certain time of day. All my clothes have got to, got to be sitting out at night prior for the next morning. I'm even doing things like constantly fidgeting and things like that. I know this is eating disorder behaviour, trying to latch on to obviously make me burn calories and things like that. I've actually spoken to my eating disorder recovery team because of this and things. Like I say, I actually suffered obsessive compulsive disorder way back before my eating disorder actually started in 1997 just before my mum died and things like that I was doing things like I was having up to 20 showers a day constantly washing myself and changing my clothes and washing my hands and things like that so the, eating, the OCD behaviour has been there long long before my eating disorder actually started and obviously like I say they do say that also obsessive compulsive disorder is obviously a prelude to eating disorders and can make you more susceptible to that, obviously because of the kind of perfectionist background and things like that. She also asks, your dog Fudgy is adorable, love your singing too, I know they will be very touched by your song dedication to them. Yeah, actually my big, my big pal Fudgy is here, I love him to bits like I say. Fudge is my absolutely world, along with my wife and my other five dogs, they mean everything to me. Here he is in the camera, I say, big darling, Cat McD saying, yeah, vegan chocolate, oh yeah, I, I love my vegan chocolate, I'm actually into at the moment, uh, Booja Booja uh, salted caramel truffles, I don't know if you've ever tried them, Cat, absolutely amazing. I'm also into it as well. I, I love the Vivani chocolates as well. I've, I really, really love them as well. Amazing chocolate. What well, I see, I, also as well, I love things like my uh, vegan cheesecakes. So, like my wife knows only too well. We're actually looking into things for a, a vegan takeaway for because it's our 10th anniversary this uh, Monday coming. So we're going to be doing that on obviously uh, Friday, Friday or Saturday this week. It'll probably be Saturday, actually. So I'll be doing that. Yeah, Cat McD, the salted caramel. That's the only one I've actually tried at the, the moment. Oh, no, sorry, I've tried the hazelnut, eh, Booja Booja. I don't know if you tried the, the truffles. Absolutely amazing. And what's the other one that I'm into? The, the, they've got new vegan, but it's like the Vigo, the, you know the Vigo chocolate bars you get with the hazelnuts in them? They're doing many ones. It's Vega Lino, I think they call it. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, what other kind of chocolate I'm in at the moment? I'm trying to think. Also love as well the the new vegan uh, peanut butter cups. They're basically like a kind of Reese's cup. Absolutely amazing as well. I was going to use as well. A lot of people ask me about my kind of poems and things like that. Obviously, because I share them all the time in my channel, so I would I would like to share with you. It's called Let Us Pray. Oh God, bless this country today. Grant the peace. Grant us peace in every way. Again, friends, let pray for the societies in which we dwell that our bonds continuously swell, and other uh, and our other societies others may tell. Let us pray for family now. God grant our hearts love, bring our minds to stay in full and not a divided half. Now, brethren, let us pray for self, a heart to serve dear country, a mind to promote self, peace in society, love for family and a selfless self. O God, grant us the right to fight for good for all and evil for none. Let us pray that God hear our prayer today. Vegan Grandma says, gosh, I would love to try these. I live in Bermuda. Our vegan options here are limited. That sounds delicious. 
Yeah, like I say, vegan grandma, it's got to the point now that uh, you're even finding that the vegan, the kind of vegan options in all the restaurants and obviously the supermarkets are, are really taking on. But the past year, really, you're actually seeing dedicated aisles to obviously the vegan lifestyle and like that. Every restaurant you go to now has got many, many vegan options. Obviously, as well, you're never really stuck for like, vegan options if you go to a restaurant and they've not got much. You've obviously got things like your chips or like the Americans call them, your rice and your vegetables, and obviously you've got your Thai curries and things. And like I say, you've got like kind of tofu stir fries and things like that, which are always options as well. But like I say, I'm, it's actually gotten to the kind of point that you're, you're seeing, especially in Glasgow and things like that, and Edinburgh, there's many, many kind of vegan restaurants popping up late recently, which is absolutely great to see. It obviously shows that there's a kind of big shift actually happening. And like if we can keep kind of making the, the kind of message and things that, that it's Come on, Fudge, you need to get down, pal. My dog's jumping all over me here. Sorry guys, I'm just checking my, I've got a, a little post here that come up. Hi Amy Lulu, nice to see you here as well. Somebody posting here in my, uh, it's a food yogi actually, he's just actually sent me a message out to the group, so. I don't know if you've actually seen this, this new film that's come out, Food Choices 2016. Joey Carbstrong actually posted about it last night. It absolutely looks amazing. So, I'm going to try and actually show you is it here. I don't know if you can see this here, guys. I'm trying kind of making a. It's actually called Food Choices. Joey Carbstrong actually spoke about last night there. It's so if you can look that up, I thoroughly recommend it. It says this documentary follows fil filmmakers Michael Saversky as it explores the impact food choice has on people's health. The, the health of our planet and so on, the lives of the species. It really, really looks good. I mean, it's, so I thoroughly recommend you check this out. It, it looks really, really something brilliant. I'm actually I'm actually talking about an, another thing I would like to talk about. I don't know if you're into kind of obviously sci-fi and things like that, but I'm really looking forward to Star Wars The Rogue One that comes out next month. Like I say, I'm a big Star Wars geek, as you can well see. I've got Yoda up there. I've obviously got Darth Vader, which actually lights up. I don't, we don't show you this. You see it lighting up now? That's it lit up, yeah, actually. It's amazing, like I say. Another one that I was actually looking and forward to it is a uh, Fantastic Beasts and Find Them. It's obviously the new Harry Potter series that, that's just coming out. That really looks amazing. It's a lot darker and things like that as well. I think that will really, really be brilliant. So I hope you like this, my, my Go Vegan Scotland. So yeah, like I say, I, I do I do quite a bit, obviously, like I say, for, I've got, obviously I'm doing with my wine, wine charity in, the, in Scotland as well. So we've got actually another thing coming up. It's the the, the Scottish Veg Veg Fest, which is the third of December at the SEC in Glasgow. So I'll be on the Go Vegan Scotland, so obviously talking about always up with vegan activism and uh, for the animal welfare and things. The actual one that we're actually doing shortly is the banning on electric shock collars for dogs. If you don't know about these, basically it's. Basically, it is, is to stop your dog barking. Basically, what it does, it sends a high-pitched sound to your dog's ears that only the dogs can hear. But it's actually proven that it's actually busts your, the dog's eardrums and things. So we're actually trying to get a ban on these. Like, say that a lot of people use these not actually understanding what they actually can impact to do on the dog's health and things. But like I say, they actually bust the dog's eardrums. So we're trying to do that. 
I'll obviously be doing a lot of vlogging at the the, the Veg Fest as well because the vegan geezer is going to be at that. I don't know if you know the vegan geezer, but I thoroughly recommend you check his YouTube channel out. He's an absolutely inspirational guy. He was one of the first guys I ever saw. His speeches and things like that, first class. He's, he's get one of the most compassionate guys you can possibly meet. But I say he respects everybody. He does a lot of things, obviously, as well. He's, his little boy Jojo, he, he's showing you about his kind of vegan lifestyle, showing you how you can raise a kid vegan and things like that. And they didn't actually push the vegan lifestyle onto him. They, they let him make his own choices, basically educated him, telling him about how the impact of obviously the meat and dairy industry had on the kind of the health and obviously the planet and things like that. And he actually cho chose the vegan lifestyle himself. And they obviously, they, they took, they done a, re a video recently where they actually took him out. <laughs> they actually took him out to a restaurant, and, uh, sorry, a supermarket, and they showed him like things like chocolate and things like that. And they gave him the option, what would you want? And they actually chose things like melons and grapes and things like that, which is absolutely amazing to see. He's a, a great wee guy. He's just, it's amazing to see that obviously the younger kids are obviously been educated in things and I would, when I was younger I'd have never thought about vegan veganism because you never ever heard of it in the 1980s or even the 90s or even in the 2000s really it's only been in the last few years that kind of the vegan you've actually heard about vegan lifestyle you obviously heard of vegetarian and things like that a way back even that was kind of looked upon as being a bit of a hippie kind of cozy and they kind of looked on you why are you kind of what to do anything vegetarian Hi, Cash and Oki. Lovely to see you here as well. So I actually wrote a, a little thing this morning. Is kind of, I do it on my Facebook. I don't know if you have anybody that's on my Facebook. Obviously knows I put up obviously a kind of motivational words every morning. And I do one this morning. The actual one I post it up, and I think you will love this. It's basically just talking about finding your, your direction in life. And it kind of relates to me all the time and obviously an eating disorder delivery and things like that. So basically what it says here, finding our direction in life for many of us was and possibly is a process that can take quite some time. For others, it may have seemed to come naturally, which is a blessing in itself. But for those of you like myself, you can relate to the roller coaster of life, the pain, the misery, the heartache, the near death experiences, the loneliness, we have had to endure some pretty dark and hectic times to get this point in our lives. By the grace of God, we are still here, still able to fight, still able to grow, to learn, to be who we were created to be. No matter what choices we have made in our lives, we have made it. We have made, we have some everlasting effects and we may have to pay for some of our decisions. We, we are still here. If you don't think that means much, then you're mistaken because there are millions who were once just like us would love to be here to get another shot at getting it right. Many of us put ourselves in situations on numerous, numerous occasions that by right should have cost us everything, including our lives, but we are chosen and God delivered us over and over and over. Before we go complaining and having a pit self pity on ourselves we think we are not special or do not belong or nobody loves us we need to remember even when we gave up even when we tried to destroy our lives god didn't let us destroy our lives why is this because you were we were chosen we were selected by our creator to do a specific purpose in life and until we do we will be here no matter if we have to do it over and over again to get it right we are still here. So today and every other day that we are blessed to be here, we fight, we learn, we grow, we get better, we recover. Because like I say, my friends, no matter what society or anybody says, we do recover. We deserve life. Binge on life, purge negativity, starve guilty feelings. That's exactly what I say always. The lone, the lone rabbit, Hadi, nice to see you here as well. 
Would anybody to guess, like I say, please let me know. I would love to guess some of you. I've got about another 10 minutes or so that I can get you on and speak away. I would love to kind of chat to some of you. I would also like to give a, a little shout out to my dear, dear friend, Educating Shani as well, like I say. We've actually recently made a video for, for her as well. And as you all know, I don't know if you have any, obviously some of you probably Probably fully educated and she actually had a lot of teeth removed recently. She's went through an awful, awful lot. Obviously, a grandma had passed away recently. She kind of had a bit of a relapse and things. And obviously, as you know, in any eating disorder recovery, especially bulimia with binging and purging and things like that, it can actually cause a lot of teeth erosion with the eye because you're basically purging and making yourself sick. She's say she had to have that done and she's went through an awful, awful lot. She obviously came off of YouTube just like myself because she had a bit of problems with trolls and things like that, basically giving her a lot of hate. So she's just recently back. It's absolutely great to see her back and I send her all my love because she deserves it and so much more. She was one of the reasons why I actually started my YouTube channel, as you all know. She gave me the kind of courage to obviously start it because... I actually put out my first eating disorder video speaking about, obviously, how my eating disorder started and things like that. I checked up on YouTube, uh, looking at people that had eating disorders. She was one of the first I seen. And actually, I didn't have actually any intentions of starting a YouTube channel. But actually, what actually happened was, uh, it basically took off. People said to me, oh, you've got a YouTube channel. You've got a great, great message. We'd love to hear more about you. So basically, took off and I actually just kept going and going and going. Oh thanks Cash and Oki, I really really appreciate that and I just try to do my best like I say every single day is, I've got to keep fighting and things like that. I, I never believe I'm an inspiration and things like that because like I say inspiration are people that fight illness every single day, terminal illness, people that go out and fight for, in the wars and every single day to basically give us our freedom. People that saving lives every day in hospitals, they're the, they're the real inspirations, they're the real warriors, and that's what we really need. Would anybody like to guest before we go? Malga Mal Zata, would you like to guest? Is that, is that Nat, Nat that's here? I hope it is. <laughs> One zero five six eight. I hope that is Nat. I think it is. Oh, Nat, Cash and Oki, I really, really appreciate that. Malgar is at would need to come on and speak about our uh, 24 hour stream before I go. I've got about 10 minutes or so, so I would love to guest you as well and chat away about it. Right, fudge. It's, yeah, isn't it? Oh, sorry, Malgar is at it. Nat, would you like to come on and guest? Fudge here getting in on the act as always. I would like to guess someday, definitely, before I go. Like I say I've got about another 10 minutes, so it'd be great to have you on. But I'm really looking forward to... Okay, great, Grisata, brilliant to have you on. It would be brilliant to chat away about this. Like I say I've got 10 minutes or so, so finish it off with that and find out what's kind of happening. So how are you doing that? Are you, is everything going well? I'll need to get guest you sometime, like I say... I absolutely love your little songs and things you do on your YouTube channel. It lightens me up all the time. But actually, what I was talking about earlier on was our 24 hour stream, which we're doing for Food for Life Global. It's basically going to be a 24 hour stream. It's what it's actually based upon is it's giving plant based foods to children all over the world that's starving and things like that. So for as little as $10 donation, Basically, what it, that feeds a, a child for a whole month and things. So that's that's what we're going to be doing. We're actually going to be doing a number which I can't speak too much at the moment. It's going to be in the 22nd of December. That's going to be another one that we're going to be doing, which should be really, really exciting. Yeah, you can finally chat now. It's great to see you on here. I know you said there was a, kind of, was a problem with you logging in or something. 
there is quite a bit of problems with that. I've actually, I actually tried to log in through things like Twitter and uh, Facebook before. It was always failing on me. So I actually had to obviously log in through a uh, my my Google account and thing, things like that. So that's where I actually log in. But how are you, how are you doing? I, I hope you're well and things. And what kind of time is it over there where you're at? Are you five hours behind, is it? It's actually, what time is it here at the moment? I think it's, it's around about 12, 12.30 in the noon here it is. So that's what it is here. So I'll be going for my, my lunch and things shortly as well. Somebody in the guest queue, I'll find out who that is here. I'm just going to guess Malgar is at it. Hi there, Hi, how are you? How are you? Good, how are you? How are you? I'm wearing my pink gown. <laughs> 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 yeah, how are you? How are you yeah, doing? Doing doing great, thanks a lot. I was just chatting away obviously about the, the streaming Friday and things like that. It's I hope we can obviously get as much as we possibly can and things. It's it's absolutely brilliant to be kinda of, the community to be coming together is kinda of one with all the kind of drama that's been happening recently and things like that. This is absolutely great. To oh kind of, thank you. Yeah. Oh yeah, I kind of I'm kind of looking at what's going on and I'm like I guess that's the reality. That's who we are humans. We we just do it. I still love everyone. So That's it. I love I love everyone as well. I love to kinda of see the good in people no matter what. Like I say, people there's always drama, there's always going to be drama, but like I say, it's trying to kind yeah. of, there's, there's always good in people, and we've always, I, I try yes. to be friend, friends with everybody, you know what I mean? Yeah, I've, I've tried that, that didn't work for me, so unfortunately I can't be friends with any, everyone anymore. Sorry. That's it, I think it's kind of, it's got, it's got to that point, you, you get kind of demonised if you're associated with people and there's drama going on, you basically, you live by yeah. the sword, you die by the sword kind of thing, isn't it? Hi, vegan grandma. Hello, Kat. Yeah, Mike vegan grandma as well. Yeah, so so I'm at home in my pink gown because it's um it's uh, eleven thirty p.m. today. I've been I, I started preparing for the event today. Right. So because yeah. on Friday uh, I I presume uh, Tommy you you told everyone about the event. So on Friday we do this um, uh, streaming for yeah. food. Food for Life, and uh, it's a fundraiser, and it's actually it's the largest organization that basically feeds vegan food, <laughs> basically. So it's it's something um, I I've never heard before about it. That's uh, so that's something new to me. I I wasn't aware of that, so I thought why not? So today um, I started preparing a little bit for it because I'll have an hour, yeah. and. And I don't want just to spend an hour uh, chatting about uh, r random things, you That's know. It. So, yeah. um, so I thought, because uh, uh, I, I like to read scientific literature, but I don't uh, don't do it very often. So it's been a while uh -huh. since I looked looked for some references on on vegan diet or fruit veggies and things like this. So I thought. I'll, I'll check what's there in in the most recent literature. So I've got a bunch of papers. So I thought I'll um, I printed it out, printed them out, and on Friday when I stream, I might talk a little bit about what I read. I might talk about my experience and um, maybe okay, some other yeah. other things as well. But I thought it would be interesting to check check what the literature says currently, and I found some interesting things actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's great. so basically it's relevant to the to the kind of topic that we're talking about because like you say we don't want to just be yeah. coming on and just randomly talking about anything. We yeah. want to make we want to uh, make it relevant because obviously a lot of people may obviously be coming on that's obviously not vegan and they're going to be wanting to know how veganism uh, is going to help their life and things like that. So yeah, for, yeah. For like you say that kind of thing is going to be absolutely great because that's going to show them. The kind of impact, obviously, the, the recent kind of studies and things are showing it's going to help them. 
Yeah, yeah, because I think it's it's very important to look at this critically. So, so I, you know, I don't yeah. want to be sort of advertising or go and do this diet because it's fantastic because someone else told me. So That's I thought right. I want to I want to see what the literature says, you know, because they they do the studies and I and I looked at papers like review papers. So review papers are. Uh, where they do more major uh, work in terms of reviewing uh, a, a bunch of uh, pa papers published on the topic so they are sort of more major type of work and uh -huh. and i think it's important to to look critically because um you, uh, you know I've, 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 Malga, I've known Malga is at his own at, uh, 3 to 4 a.m yeah, I'm from three to four, which will be it will be my time. It will be seven to eight p.m. Hobart time because there is time difference. But yeah, the U.S. Eastern time it's from three to four. So I guess everyone will be asleep, but that's okay. I'll well, be, in I'll, U.S. I'll be I'll be I'll be definitely on. I'll be on to watch you for sure because you you're a five hours difference. So that will be roughly eight a.m. my time. So that's, eight that a.m. your time. Yeah, what, so that what, time, what, what time are you on? I'm on a uh, UK time, so it's basically I'm, at the moment it's twelve thirty-two in the noon here. So I'm like, I think um, so what time is it where you are at the moment? So I'm at three. I'm scheduled to be at three, and you're scheduled to be at twelve. So three hours before me. Is it? I'm on. I'm on at six a.m. time. So I'm on three hours after you. Oh, so three hours after me. So, oh, okay. So that, so that works out at roughly. You're on at eight, 8 a.m. my time in the UK. So that that's yeah. that's perfect for me. Mm. So I'll I'll be looking at some other broadcasters as well, of course. Now during the day I'll be busy because because uh, for me it will be you know I go to work and I'll have meetings and so on. But yeah. um, later, my my evening time is kind of good time for me to check. So yeah, I really look forward to the, the forward to it. That will be interesting. Um, oh, thanks for becoming a fan. My food doesn't scream. That I really appreciate that. And it's nice to see this time around vegan life as well. She's saying she's on from nine to ten. Yeah, me from time. nine to ten. Nine to ten. So it's like six hours after I've, me. So I've actually after. I've actually got the full schedule here. If you want to hear it. It's 12 to, 12 to 1 a.m. is obviously the food yogi. He's starting off the stream. 1 to 2 a.m. is the Holonesian. Like I say, he's got, he's a great, great guy. He does a lot of You Now streams, but he obviously hasn't got a YouTube channel yet. 2 to 3 a.m. is Sandcat and the Chicken Lady. 3 to 4 is obviously Malgarizata. 4 to 5 a.m. is Tim the Huggernaut. 5 to 6 is Joe Vegan, who's my dear, dear friend. 67 is obviously myself. 78 a.m. is Dazzling Frankie, who is she's one of my closest friends. 89 p.m. is Convertible Snitch John. 9 to 10 a.m. is This Time Around Vegan Life. 10 to 11 is Mad Blender. 11 to 12 is Mod Vegan. 12 to 1 is a Food Yogi again. 1 to 2 is Hit Like a Girl. 2 to 3 is Anita Spiro. 3 to 4, A1 vegan, 4 to 5, vegan badass, 5 to 6, vegan mojo, 6 to 7, Jason Pizzino, 7 to 8, Joey Carbstrong, 8 to 9 is obviously Jessica, 9 to 10 is Big Screen Bird, 10 to 11 is J James Aspie, and 11 to 12 is closing it with Jessica and Sandcat as well. Oh, John, John John is asking, what about vegan cheetah? He doesn't want to promote veganism. I, I don't know whether he was invited. So, because I'm, I'm not the organizer, so I don't know what happened uh, with it. I'm... To let you to let you know exactly about this, John, we didn't we didn't want any of the kind of like drama channels involved because we were kind of worried that obviously people would be coming on and they would ask be asking drama questions and things like that. We're actually trying to make it a drama-free 24 hours, so we didn't want to have like any of the kind of main drama channels involved, basically because we didn't want it kind of disrupting the stream because we wanted to raise as much money as possible and to kind of be promoting the vegan lifestyle and in a, a good harmonious way, because the food yogi is all about karma, free living, and ahimsa, which is non-violence and things like that. And, a spiritual way so that's basically what it's based upon and that's the reason why 
Vegan Cheater wasn't involved, but I don't think he actually wanted to be involved because we actually kind of reached out to a lot of people and a lot of people didn't want to be involved, but that was the kind of main reason why we didn't have like, the drama channels involved. Oh, I, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. But personally, I think he would be a great person to be part of it. Yeah, it would, it would have been great to have along with it, but like I say, that was a kind of the kind of decision that Jessica come up with. She said that we didn't obviously want kind of any drama channels involved for that reason. And that is, that is basically why, like I say, but obviously as well, you can't always say that drama is not going to happen, unfortunately, as you all know, because there's, there's everybody that's in the vegan community on you now is obviously going to be on it. So it may still, it may still pop up, but we just need to kind of detract for that for the 24 hours and keep that out of the kind of way. Mm, okay. I'm just just looking looking at the schedule. Um, okay. So what time is there now there at your place? It's twi just past twelve twelve thirty noon. Okay. Hmm. But like I say, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm, I'm just trying to kind of come up with a kind of topic myself. I'm thinking about what, how to kind of put it because I, I was thinking a lot of people said to me to kind of take it on the kind of level about how the vegan lifestyle can he, help eating disorder recovery and things. But I really don't mm -hmm. want to. Get, I really don't want to get down that road because I don't agree with it myself. Being perfectly honest, because it, unfortunately being vegan for a lot of people in eating disorder recovery can be the worst thing they can actually do because it can keep them in, eat in an eating disordered mindset obviously because a lot of people do like the Roto 4 lifestyle and things like that which has mm -hmm. been proven to actually be the worst thing you can do because you've got to get a good relationship with protein, fats and carbs obviously and obviously because you need all these for hormonal function and brain function for vit soluble mm -hmm. vitamins A, D, A, E and K and things so a lot of people do use the lifestyle, obviously, for the, as a mask for their eating disorder, which I, I really worry about, and I don't want to go down that road. For me, definitely, the like the vegan lifestyle has helped me so so much. It's I don't get the eating disordered thoughts because I know when I'm looking in the mirror that I'm doing it not only for myself but the animals and things like that. But unfortunately, it's not that way for everybody. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, veganism can be a restrictive uh, sort of diet um, for someone who transitions to it. For me, it wasn't the case because I kind of got into raw foodism and didn't think much of veganism. It, it's been a kind of automatic part of it. So, yeah. so in yeah. a way, I did it harder way. <laughs> Plant Plantnet one nine one eight is asking, "Hi, can you link info, please, Tommy?" I'm actually on my laptop at the moment. I, I'm not actually able to access it, unfortunately. But is Margaret Zata, are you able to link it? Um, I'll have a look. So the link to the fundraiser. Um, OK, that's the schedule. Let me just see. OK. Yep, OK, I found it. I found that it. That's great. Oh, okay. Wrong, wrong. Uh, I have to copy paste it first. Okay, sorry. Will this work? Hopefully it works now. Yay. That's it. That's it there. Brilliant. Thanks, Ashira. Thank you. Thanks very much, Ashira, for that. Well, it's, it's, it's been lovely speaking to you, it really, really has, and I really look forward to Friday, and it'll be great to see you. I always love watching you, like I say, you're, you're, you've got so much knowledge, and I, I've always loved your work, as you, always, you all know, and you're one of, the mo one of the people I always look forward to seeing your videos and things like that, because they're always really, really informative, and you've got always kind of kind of science-based knowledge and facts and that's that's great that's what people look for oh, th th thank you um, i i don't see myself that way i very oh, provide very very little my time is so limited but i think, try don't ever think that because you definitely do <laughs> 
Thank you. Thanks. Good, good to talk to you and you well. um, and all the best on Friday. Definitely. Have, Thanks very much. Ha, and we'll speak to you soon. Have fun. Atom. Have fun. Bye bye, Thanks, everyone. Bye. Thank you. So guys, it was great to obviously get Margaret Zato in there as well. Like I say, this it'll be great, great work on Friday. Like I say, we really need to keep spreading the vegan message and things like that. Like I say, for as little as ten dollars, it obviously feeds a child for a month based foods and things like that. It'll be amazing. Like I say, hopefully we can actually get a good kind of basis and show how much it is. Thanks, Bernadette, for becoming a fan, I really, really appreciate that and I hope you can join in my stream on Friday as well, it'd be great just before I go, I would actually like to share a, a little song with you guys, just basically talking about what I've been talking about all here it's called, it's by Birdie People Help the People so, just get listening to this I'm not a great singer but this kind of relates to exactly what I talk about all the time God knows what is hiding in those weak and drunken eyes Guess he kissed the girls and made them cry Those hard-faced queens of God God knows what is hiding in those weak and sunken eyes A fiery throng of muted angels Giving love and getting nothing back People help the people And if you're homesick Give me your hand and I'll hold it People help the people And nothing will drag you down And if you had a brain Oh, when if I had a brain I'd be cold as a stone and rich as a fool that turned all those God hearts away. God knows what is hiding in this world of little consequence behind the tears inside the lies. A thousand slowly dying sun. Sets. God, what is hiding in those weak and drunken hearts? I guess the loneliness can cock in. No one needs to be alone. Oh, save me, people, help the people. And if you're homesick, give me a hand and I'll hold it. Peace. Help the people, nothing will drag you down. And if I had a brain, oh, and if I had a brain, I'd be cold as a stone and rich as the fool that turned all those good hard hearts away. So, guys, thanks very much to every single one of you. I send you all my love and I hope you can join me on Friday in my stream and all the other 20, 23 guys that's in on this. This time around Vegan Life, I send you all my love. Ashira, Ashira, I send you all my love as well. And Friday, what I'm going to do is I'm going to video record that as well. So you'll be in my YouTube video that I'll post up on Monday as well. So you'll be in the vlog, definitely. Cash, okay, I'll, I send you all my love. Bernadette, I send you all my love. Obviously, Nat, I send you all my love as well. Before I go, remember what I always say. Join life, purge negativity and starve guilty feelings. And I'll speak to you tomorrow, this time around Vegan Life. I'll be guesting with this Vegan Life as well. So please fan her up, guys, as well. I will be on tomorrow speaking about that. Send you all my love and speak to you soon.